This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Harvest Dice is a roll and write style game where you'll be drafting different dice from a pool and planting vegetables like this three carrot in the three column. The first of each vegetable can go anywhere, but after that, they all have to be orthogonally adjacent to each other. The last die of the round will add the value of that market for that vegetable, so carrots will go up by one. Instead of planting, you can feed your pig by adding that many pips to the pig row. Once that row is filled, you unlock an ability which allows you to manipulate the dice by one or minus one. At the end, each vegetable is worth a specific amount times the amount of vegetables that you have of that type. You'll also get bonuses for each of the rows that you finish and for how far you've fed your pig. There's also an advanced variant that gives you points for having the most fed pig and for having most of each of the vegetables. And there's also a new special ability that allows you to change the color of the die when using your pig bonus. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Harvest Dice has a cute look and feel of the game. I like the theme as well. It is a low barrier of entry type roll and write game that you could play with people that don't play games a lot and you can play it with gamers as well. I like the drafting aspect of this where you're drafting what's good for you, but you're also trying to keep things away from your opponents. That's the best choice for them and force them to do things like feed their pig, which isn't quite as good as planting vegetables. I like the economics of the market where you're trying to get the most of uh, the one that's worth the most or at least have more than your opponents. I like there's an advanced variant that gamers can play and it makes it not too much more difficult, but a little bit more to think about. And I also like how the scores are very tight. Uh, the market itself, even though I like the fluctuation of it, I wish it fluctuated a little bit more. Things tend to stay within one of each other, maybe two at the most, and it doesn't add anything new to the genre. The dice drafting is good. Uh, it's a solid game. Uh, it's not going to do anything new and earth shattering, but if you're looking for one of those small, quick, light, roll and write games that can be played with non-gamers and gamers alike for a quick filler game, then I think this is going to be one that you're going to want to check out, and that's Harvest Dice from Gray Fox Games. This has been the Game Boy Geek, helping you find and enjoy the next board game you'll love. This video was sponsored by Miniature Market's Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.